I am the community chef at the stop and I'm responsible for ordering food and managing food donations. But my main job is cooking for the drop-in. Last year we did 51,000 meals. The budget that we work with is $1.50 to $2 a meal. It's a lot of planning. It means that we definitely have to be very careful with what we're cooking with. You're gonna go into the pepper puree that we're gonna saute for the broth. Oh, I never planned to be a chef. I came to the stop as a placement student. Um, I was at Teachers College, and I had just been reading a lot about the local food movement and food justice. Tomatoes. These All look right. amazing. From the age of about nine onwards, I lived just with my mom and we lived in different basement apartments. We definitely were on a budget. It was sometimes a struggle, but I learned how to shop on a budget and I decided to teach myself how to cook. I love when I'm in the kitchen, but Almost the more important part of my job involves menu planning to make sure that our menus are representative of the people we're cooking for and learn from the community members. We're gonna make pozole rojo, so it's like a red pepper broth, slow cooked beef, hominy, and then lots of toppings. Nine o'clock, my volunteers arrive. At a few hundred pounds of vegetables are usually waiting for them, and we kind of have to get going right away. It's a lot in three hours. <laughs> I'm a volunteer in the kitchen. We're from all different neighborhoods, all different parts of the world. I walk in and then they say they need a volunteer and I sign up. I'm so happy to be here. Before I have no friends yet, I don't know nobody. But when my husband passed away, I went to find something for past my time. All through my life, I've worked on teams. So when I retired, it was like a real absence. And then working in that kitchen, we're all working around the same table. I like that. I like that feeling. I think the vision a lot of people have of a drop-in is a loud, hectic kind of cafeteria, but we try and make the stop as different from that as possible. Instead of lining up to get your meal as if you were getting a handout, you sit down and a volunteer brings your meal over to you. They provide us with very nutritious meals. They treat you like a human being. They make you feel confidence in your life. I feel very important here. Everybody around me supports me. All my family is here. They're all here, yeah. I have so many advantages here at the stop. They really help me physically, emotionally. And they treat you with respect, too. We're trying to get as far away from industrial cafeteria food as we can. It takes more labor, it takes more money, it takes more planning and care, but the end product is so much better.